Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. So this is what the sketchbook looks like on the outside. It's a grey toned sketchbook by Strathmore. So when I was in Calabria I was staying in this really beautiful house and they have a lovely collection of art books. So I took a couple off the shelf and I started working on a Caravaggio um, master study and this was it. So it's a close up of one of his paintings and I just focused on this. I thought it was really nice to work just solely in black and grey for this so that I could really focus on value as I was practicing using ink for the first time and I was actually really pleased with how it came out but it did take me a very long time because I was using a number one nib I think it was so it took me a long time to get to really saturate the paper. I actually worked pretty much, this was the only sketch that I managed to finish while I was there. The second one was another master study of Caravaggio, this one I actually finished when I came home. I started on this guy down here and worked on his face and then by the time I'd done his face it was time to come home so I did all of the rest of this area when I came home. I really enjoyed working on all of the different um, folds in the fabric that's wrapped around the angel at the top and working out the form of the face just using ink and not having anything to blend or not being able to rely on blending anything. It was just a really useful exercise. And then when I came home, before Inktober, I started this sketch here, which is also a Caravaggio, but I didn't actually get to finish this one. And then after that is basically Inktober sketches. So this is the first day one. I basically drew this hand, which is actually really terribly drawn. I'm not a fan of that. I decided to have another go with the hand thing. For the second day and I think this one came out much better and I think this one was called touch but I was really happy with that how that one came out this is a concept that I've been wanting to fully flesh out for a long time like two hands reaching towards each other a little bit like the hand of God by Michelangelo but they're not pointing at each other the next one was called poison and I also really liked this one I hadn't drawn a mouth this big before so this is what it looks like and I just followed the same sort of concept having the black background but instead of just stars being in the background this time like the star stars were falling onto her tongue as if the stars were the poison. The next one after that I was on a bit of a roll actually because I was happy with how all of these came, came out. This one I took a reference from a, a free stock photo website and this was called Underwater I think. And it's basically just a girl submerged underwater with like the light coming down on her and I thought the way that that came out was really effective. I remember this one took me a really long time though because it was so detailed like drawing a full body in just one day. That took a long time. So this is a page that I didn't like very much. I didn't like the prompt for the top one so the top one is I think it was just called Sword and I really just couldn't think of a, a creative way to draw a sword, so I just drew a sword. And then this one, it photographed nicely, but it didn't come out quite the way, it didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to, but never mind. And at this time I decided to work on much smaller drawings because I was struggling getting them finished in one day. These next two are quite light, this one which is a i think i got the photo from the same free website and then i added the stars in myself so it sort of tied in with the rest of the inktober drawings that i'd done and then this one it's just a a tree stood on its own under a night sky with a moon and a little bit of mountainous in the distance i was kind of happy with that one but i like that one better now the next one that i did was I think it was called Screech. So it was these sound waves. This was quite simple to do, but I just wasn't. I was starting to get to the point now after Sword, I was just really not feeling the prompt list whatsoever, and I didn't want to do it anymore, basically. And then the next day, I think the prompt was Reflection. But this photographed very nicely, and it's kind of taken from 
my drawing of Albert Einstein. He had a full moon in the background with reflections in the water and this was actually one of the fastest ones to draw. <laughs> the next one was this and everybody said that this looked like Gordon Ramsay if someone had <laughs> overcooked a steak or something which was so funny because that's exactly what I was thinking when I was drawing it and this again was taken from a, a non-copyrighted photo on a, on a stock free or whatever they're called website. And then the next one, which was the most basic one that I'd drawn, the, the base, most basic drawing that I'd done for the whole of Inktober, and this got such a great reaction. And I understand why, because the contrast in it is very good, and I think the, um, the way it's laid out is quite pleasing to the eye. But this was me just bashing something out because I couldn't be bothered with the prompt list anymore, it was really starting to grate on me and I was starting to really not enjoy it. The next prompt I half did and then realised I couldn't go through with it because I despised the prompt list by this point. So I only half did it but it was basically going to be um, somebody, haul it, ho somebody holding balls of light which I wish I'd finished it now actually because it could have looked quite cool, I really like drawing hands. But I didn't finish it and then I decided to change the pace. Change, I decided to stop drawing from the prompt lists before I decided to take, before I decided to draw from the prompt list I had an idea of drawing in like 30 inspirational women and then as I started to fall out of love with the prompt list I went back to that idea and the first one I drew was Zoella and I really like how this came out actually. This is probably my favourite one out of all of these. I think it's because her face is so animated in it and you can see like all on the inside of her mouth and the way that her hair's dyed, it's just um, like there's a lot of gradation in the values. And then for the next one, you know I love her. I did Fran Nerd. I liked this one because I've not drawn anyone in glasses for a really long time. So I really enjoyed drawing the glasses, but I very quickly started to realise that drawing even just half a face in a day was a big ask, especially to be able to take a photo of it and upload it by a certain time. The next one I drew was Victoria Beckham, as I am or was or always have been a massive Spice Girls fan. I love Victoria Beckham, she's so cute. Next was the wonderful and beautiful Oprah. I love Oprah. She's so cute. This was a particularly difficult one because of her curly hair and like all the reflections on it and making sure that I got everything going in the right direction and keeping it true to the photograph. I really struggled to get this one finished on time. As you can probably tell because I only did, did I do two more? Yeah, I only did two more, so I was already I was getting fed up of my own prompt list by this point. Getting pretty burnt out, I think. The next lady was J.K. Rowling, and I actually really enjoyed doing this one because I really enjoyed rendering this earring. I think this is taken from a photo where she, where she's going to an awards do. She's not usually photographed super super glammed but she was in this photo and she had her hair like up nice but I just really enjoyed drawing that earring for some reason because it was sparkly and it just looked really pretty and then the next one I think prompted by my sister because she absolutely loves her I drew Ariana Grande and that's it for fully flesh piece of artwork when I first got the sketchbook I actually did a lot of swatches in the back Interestingly, I did them with all my coloured pencils, which took actually quite a long time and then I never used coloured pencils in this book at all. So this is the Faber-Castell swatches and I had the idea to draw like a whole scene in the background of like a cherry blossom tree and water and all this other really intricate stuff, but I never finished that. And then on the back page is the Luminance swatches and they all came out surprisingly well on grey paper but I think I just got fed up 
of grey, especially because I was working on it a lot in during Inktober and October was like a very dark, like weather wise, it was a very dark, depressing month here. So I just got fed up of looking at grey paper and only working in black. That's when I really started craving colour. So that's why this year, my sketchbook for this year, um, is going to be very colourful. <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to be starting it when I'm on holiday. So I hope you enjoyed watching that anyway. I hope that was somewhat enjoyable for you to watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!